Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you an engineering principle followed in modern houses. It is a structure called an awning. And you can see one in the canopy behind me. This is the definition. You can pause this video to read this definition and understand it. This is a do-it-yourself awning for my car charger box. At first, I only got this box installed here to house the charger for an electric vehicle. I did not know this and then when a few storms came and rainwater started to drop down, it went used to go in to this and used to pull up behind below this here, the charger is here. So I don't know what to do. So there was, I got I got advice from construction people here, and they designed this awning for me. But how do you make an awning here without uh, damaging the wall? Because this property belongs to the bottom floor, and uh, you cannot drill nails here. So. What he has done is he has fastened two angled metal clamps to the top of the box and fastened a durable polycarbonate sheet to the L clamps with nuts and bolts so that it forms a hood over the box preventing water from going inside. So whenever water falls, whenever rainwater falls on this, it comes like that and falls drops down directly instead of trickling into this box. I have made a video on a do-it-yourself awning for a EV charger box which is here. It is linked up here. Have a look at it. I hope this video is interesting. It gives an insight in how engineering principles formally formed can be applied in day-to-day -day life examples like even uh, awning for a charger cover box for a charger placed outdoors to protect it from rainwater seeping inside and harming the electrical circuitry inside. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.